Okay, so let's start with the next topic, which is on uh, implicit differentiation. Again, let me share my screen. So implicit differentiation from the name itself, uh, it's still the same thing. We are still going to get the derivative here. <clears throat> the only problem here or the only difference here is that uh, before, di ba ang kinukuha na natin ng derivative is that the function is already solved in terms of, what, in, in terms of one variable. Nwari, meron tayong y equals the, the rest of the, 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 the other side is in terms of one variable. Implicit differentiation is also a way of getting the derivative. Yung nga lang, we don't need to have an implicitly solved uh, equation. Pag sinabi natin implicitly solved, yung sinabi ko kanina ay, uh, uh, or rather explicitly solved uh, function or ex equations wherein yung, yung one side is in terms of one variable only and the other side is just a function of, another, of that variable. Yung mga previous natin, ginagawa lang natin, yung y equals certain variable on the other side. And then we get the derivative as is. Paano pag uh, <clears throat> yung mga variables natin magkasama-sama? How are we going to get the derivative? So to do that, ang gagawin natin is we call implicit differentiation. Okay? So kunwari, itong mga example na to, how are we going to get the derivative of y in terms of x if we have a certain expression like this. So y plus y cubed equals uh, 5x squared. So notice, hindi lang y ang nasa kaliwa, madami pang variable or uh, an, an expression in terms of y. And then naman sa number 2, pinaghalo naman yung x at saka y. How are you going to get the derivative? So notice, that's why it's important yung ating uh, starting from now, uh, it's important that uh, when taking the derivative, meron tayong denominator na dx. Pwedeng dx over dy yan or pwedeng d something variable with respect to another variable. That's why it's important na meron tayong denominator dito. Kasi pwedeng mag-iba. Okay. Kunwari ito, how are we going to get the derivative of y with respect to x or dy over dx? So to do that, the same thing, we can just get the derivative. Pero we always follow the chain rule that after that, at the end, we always get the derivative of the variable with respect to the independent variable, the independent variable is written sa denominator natin, itong dx natin. So x yung magiging independent variable. So to get the derivative of y, so get, just get the derivative of both sides. It's just an equation. So the same thing. You just get the derivative of one side with respect to the same variable, in this case x, ganun din sa kapila. So getting that, what's the derivative of y? So the derivative of y with respect to x would just be dy over dx. And then the derivative of y cubed, so the same uh, rule, so uh, um, nito, exponent rule tayo or power formula. So we just bring down the exponent. That would be y and then subtract by 1. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng 3y squared. And then afterwards, we multiply with the derivative of the uh, base in this case. So the derivative of y with respect to x as would be dy over dx. Dun sa kabila, <clears throat> ganun din. We get the derivative of 5x squared, so that would be 10x. Actually, meron dito tayo dito na dx over dx. Okay? But dx over dx over uh, dx over dx is just one. Kaya hindi na natin kailangan isulat yung dx over dx. Malinaw ba to guys? So again, we just get the derivative of y with respect to x. So be dy over dx. Derivative of y cubed is 3y squared. And then times the derivative of the base. And then equal sign, and then the derivative of 5x squared is 10x. dx over dx. So let's get wala, wala, wala yung dx. Okay. And then, ang aim natin dito is to solve for dy over dx. So we just uh, factor out. We can factor out the dy over dx sa kaliwang, sa kaliwang equation. So factoring out dy over dx, so this would be like this. So factoring dy over dx would be 1. And then factoring dy over dx, kaya meron tayong 3y squared. Okay. And finally, so to finally solve dy over dx, kailangan lang natin tanggalin itong uh, factor na to. So to do that, we just have to divide both sides by this factor. Okay, so matitira is this. So we are now able to solve for dy over dx, which is 10x over 1 plus 3y squared. Is that clear? Any questions? First, I'm not sure if I'm going to ask you one. So, I'm going to ask you three y over 
<laughs> we just factor out dy over dx. So dy over dx one. divided by dy over dx, which is dy. Ah, okay. Or para mas ma-check ma nyo, balik nyo ulit. If you multiply dy over dx, magiging dy over dx. Then it's a 1, and then dy over dx times this, so magiging 3y squared dy dx. So parang ito lang. Okay. So ayun, tapos na tayo. Nakuha na natin si dy over dx of this uh, equation. Okay. Apo. Okay, let's have the second example. The second example naman ito. Medyo komplikado ng konti kasi pinagsama na yung variable. And at the same time, now this we have may product na dito. So pag may product ng dalawang variable, uh, we always do the product rule. Tandaan natin yun na yung product rule. So how do we get the derivative of a product again? So we copy first the first factor which is y derivative over of d. One. Okay? Over at uh, times the derivative of the second factor plus copy the second factor derivative of uh, y. So ito yon. So y, we copy the y, take note, and then derivative of ln x is 1 over x, dx over dx ulit yan. Kaya 1 na lang ulit. Dito naman, derivative, uh, we copy the second factor ln x, and then derivative of y with respect to x, so that's why we have dy over dx. And then on the second term, yung y squared, derivative oh, wow. of y squared will be 2y, again times the derivative of y, which is dy over dx. Kung sa kanan, we just have a 5, so this is constant, the derivative of constant is 0. Kaya zero. zero yung nasa kanan. Okay, next. Ang kailangan natin dito is dy over dx. So pagsasamahin natin yung may dy over dx, yung walang dy over dx, ilipat natin sa kabilang side. So magiging ganta lang siya. Ay, sorry. Uh, sinimplify muna. So ito pala yun. Okay, so I just uh, subtracted both sides by y over x, kaya naging negative y over x is final. Okay, and then finally, or next thing is, we now solve for dy over dx, or we just factor out dy over dx. So ito na siya. Okay. Edit. So, factoring dy over dx dito, natira ln x, at tira dito naman ay 2y. So, meron tayo doon. And then finally, we now divide both sides by the coefficient of dy dx. So, divide na lang natin ang 2y plus ln x, both sides of the equation. So, we have this. Okay? So, ayun na. Tapos na tayo. Nakuha na natin si dy over dx. So, we now have that derivative. Question? Sir. May tanong ba? Okay, isa pa. Oh. Sorry, what's this? Okay, so let's have another one. Let me stop this one. I'll try to look for the other example. Okay. Okay, so let's have other example. Where is it? Wait, come guys, I'll try to look for it. Okay, let's have this and then so magulo lang. Anyway, let me just write it down kasi medyo magulo yung pagka percent ng next ka. So let us just have the next example. Okay, so ready? At least I can write. Yes, this. sir. Let me share this. Let me share a black screen para doon na lang ako magsusulat. Can I have a Dito na. Okay, so let's have another one. So kanina may product. What if ilagyan naman natin ng quotient? Mare, I have uh, 
same. Y over X. Okay. Say plus. Let's place. See. X to the 5. Okay. And then we have the other side to be. So, let's lagi, lagi natin ng say. Say E raised to Y, for example. Okay, let's have this. Let's make it bigger. Okay. So, how are we going to get the derivative of, uh, say, we try to find the. Uh, uh, sorry. Okay, so let us try the same thing. We try to get uh, dy over dx. Okay, so we get dy over dx. So how do we do that? So ang gagawin natin is the same process. Okay, so kapag quotient, let's start first with the quotient, guys. So let's remove this, okay? So walang yung ating. Okay, so sa quotient, how do we get the derivative of a quotient? So again, first is we have to square, di ba? Square, okay? Okay, may square tayo dito ng denominator. So we square x squared. And then uh, lodi high, right? Remember? So copy the denominator times the derivative of the numerator. So the derivative of the numerator will be derivative of y. In this case, that would be dy over dx. Can you follow? Minus, we copy the numerator. Okay? And then the derivative of the denominator was the derivative of x. That would just be 1, right? Can you follow? Malina ba, guys? So again, so we just copy the denominator and then derivative of the numerator, we have dy over dx minus we copy the numerator y and then the derivative of x, we have one all over the square of the denominator. And then plus, sorry, be a plus derivative of x to the five, so that would just be would be five x to the four, right? Okay. And then again, the right side will just be the derivative of also the right side. This is the derivative of e to the y. So we get the derivative of e to the y. It is just the same e to the y, right? So e to the y. So again, we don't forget to get the derivative of y. What would, uh, the derivative of the exponent, diba? So the derivative of the exponent will just be the derivative of y with respect to x. Okay? Mali now. Question. So again, it, ang ginawa natin itong part na to is just the derivative of this. Ito naman, derivative nito. And then derivative of e to the y will just be e to the y times the derivative of the exponent, which is the derivative of y with respect to x. So ang aim natin is uh, we now have to solve for dy over dx. Di ba? So pagsasamahin natin siya. So to do that, first is uh, separate muna natin tong fraction na to. So if you write it down, ito, pwede ko nat natin tong tanggalin. Okay. And then, uh, parang may minus pa rin tayo dito. So, minus, wait, wait for it, guys. Okay, so ganyan siya, di ba? So, what I just did here is I just uh, break down the denominator, or the numerator. Parang hiniwalay ko lang yung numerator. So, I just have to have this over x squared minus y over x squared. Kaya nagkaroon tayo dito. Tanggalin na rin natin itong 1. Okay. So, okay. Para madali ito. So we can now simplify this. <clears throat> so matitira na lang dito. So x over x squared. So mawawala na itong x dito sa numerator. Okay. And then matitira na lang dito will be x. Can you follow?
Malinaw ba guys? So hiniwalay from here, hiniwalay ko lang yung dalawa tapos uh, nag-divide na ako ng x dito. So kaya nang nawala na cancel na yung x, yung x dito so naging ganito na lang. Okay? Kinopya ko lang lahat ha. So, next. <clears throat> Tayo sa taas. Okay? So pagsasamahin ko na lang lahat ng mga may dy over dx, lahat ng wala ilipat ko sa kabila. So ito, pag nilipat ko sa kabila, so this becomes a minus. Okay? So ito naman, ilipat ka sa kabila, so magiging positive, ito magiging minus. Okay? Can you follow guys? Nasundan? So I just place EY over, uh, EY, DY, DX sa kabila, kaya naging negative. Yung y over x squared naging positive. Yung 5x squared naging negative naman. Okay? And oh, we're, all, we're almost done. So we now get, uh, we now factor out dy over dx here. So when we factor out dy over dx, let me write this one. So factor out ko to, di ba? Okay, wait lang. Uh, okay. So we place a parenthesis here para maging maganda yung isura. Okay, so ilalagay ko dito yung negative Q to the Y. Okay, pa-factor out ko to. And then ito, pag pinactor out ko yung dy over dx, that would just be 1 over x, right? Sorry. So matitira dito is this. And then I factor out dy over dx, so just be 1. Okay. Can you follow? Malino ba guys? Okay, now finally, so to solve finally your dy over dx, I just have to divide both sides by this term, uh, by this uh, factor. So I'll just have to, let me copy this. So mangyari, we just have to place this in a very big denominator. Ito ilalagay ko to sa denominator. Ito, di ba? Ito, post ito, ilalagay ko naman to. We have to divide this by this, right? Okay, lagay natin. Okay? Pili na natin yung hello or function. Sorry. Wait lang guys. Oh, wala yung akin. So, let me just place down there. Kaya na wala yung isang term natin dito. So that would be a 1 over x minus to the y. Okay, so uh, let me remove the parenthesis I forgot. So, let's remove the parenthesis. Uh, okay. Hello guys, I'm having class here. So please, so we have this. So we're done. Okay, question. Hello, are you still there? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Malinaw po. Po, sir. Hmm? Malinaw po, sir. Okay, very good. So let's have another one. Gusto niyo pa ba? So, okay, one more. Uh, let's, ano pang may suggestion ba kayo? Baka meron kayong gustong ipasol. Yung naisip kayo, bakit? Paano pag ganito, sir? Pag ganyan, yung may fraction. May ano? May fraction po. May fraction. Tapos may ano, sir? Square root. Hmm, sige, sige. So, Gusto nyo pagsamahin natin na may square root? O... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait lang. Ayaw lumabas ang aking... Nangyari dito sa aking... Wait lang. So, let's have number four. Gusto mo yung may square root, di ba? Ay, ano ba yung matawala? Okay, there. So... <clears throat> Okay. Nilagay pa natin sa fraction. Gusto mo ganyan. 
no, masaya ka na dyan. So, kunwari, x, uh, i, y over x, na uh, plus 3. Okay, and then we have on the other side, uh, ln naman. So, kunwari, ln of uh, ln y. Okay, okay na ba yan? Did I satisfy you of this problem? Okay na ba to guys? So we need to solve again the same thing. We need to solve for dy over dx. Yes, sir. Okay, okay na So how do we solve for this? How do we find for the derivative of y with respect to x? Let me just copy this again. Para mandali ako mag-type. Okay, so to get the derivative, so ang gagawin lang natin again is we perform the derivative. Wait, ano na yung aking uh, Okay. So there are a few ways on how we can do this. Pwede natin tong ihiwalay or pwede natin as is lang. Anong gusto nyo? Uh, since this is a square root, pwede natin i-square root muna yung numerator over the square of the denominator para we can perform uh, quotient rule. Or pwede natin i-perform yung uh, power formula and then afterwards we perform the quotient rule. So pwede na naman yung problema doon. Okay, sorry about that. Ayan na lang muna sir yung quotient rule, sir. Okay, quotient rule muna. Ayan na lang po muna yung apa, yung quotient rule po. Okay, sige. Okay, so first is, uh, I can write this as in a fraction first. So parang nangyari, okay, so tatanggalin ko muna yung denominator. So magiging y plus 3 lang muna to. Okay. Ito naman, magkakaroon tayo dito ng x na lang. Pwede nga to. Oops, oops. Okay, ganyan. So did you get that guys? So parang ang ginawa ko lang dito is I just uh, uh, perform division or parang uh, uh, dinistribute ko lang yung square root over the numerator. So mangyayari dito, magiging quotient rule na lang siya. Tama? So if we try to take the derivative of this, di ba? Mangyayari, square root of x, di ba? Square the numerator, so magiging x na lang. Tama? Next. So to get the derivative, uh, first is we get the numerator, uh, sorry, denominator pala. We copy the denominator and then we get the derivative of the numerator. So the derivative of square root of y plus 3, so that would just be, di ba ang, uh, uh, let me write it here. Di ba ang square root of y plus 3, if you would remember, this will just be what? Okay, ito ay... If you write it in exponential form, uh, this is just what? Parang y plus t raised to what? This is raised to one half, right? Tama? So if you click on the derivative of this, so ilalagay ko dito, derivative nyan will be one half. So ilagay natin si one, sorry. So, ilagay natin si 1 half. Okay, 1 half times what? The derivative of this. So, magiging uh, y plus 3. Copy natin si y plus 3. y plus 3. Okay, that, what would be the exponent now in this case? Para dapat natin to be back. Para may exponent. 3 up, sir. Mm-hmm. Minus, di ba? So, 1 half minus 1. So, this will be Negative one half. Halves. One half. Negative one half. One half minus one. Okay. Nakuha? Negative tapos, one half. Apo. Tapos mumultiply pa natin derivative nitong nasa uh, uh, nasa base. Okay. So what's the derivative of y plus 3? So that will now be Derivative of y, so that will be dy over dx. Okay. And then plus the derivative of 3, so plus 0 lang yan. So we don't need to write the 0. Okay. 
Okay. Minus now. We now copy this. Okay. We copy the numerator. Denominator. Numerator. Okay. And then we now get the derivative of the numerator, a uh, denominator. So the derivative of square root of x will now be again one half. Okay. That would be one half. Okay. Times x in this case, the same thing. So one half minus one, so magiging uh, x to the negative one half. Okay. And then times the derivative of x, so that come if times one lang sa hindi na natin kailangan so. Can you follow? And on the right side, so that will just now be derivative of ln y. So ito ay magiging 1 over y. Right? Okay. Times the derivative of y. Again, times the derivative ng y. So that will now just be a dy over dx dun sa ating numerator. Okay. Malinaw. Malinaw po ba guys? So I'm going to na kawa sir yung y. Again, ln of y. Derivative ng ln y will just be derivative the, would be 1 over y, right? 1 over y. Tama? Times the derivative of y naman kasi L, derivative ng u, di ba? u prime. So derivative of y will be dy over dx. Okay, may dy over dx tayo doon sa numerator. Okay. So next, we perform again algebra to, to just uh, isolate yung dy over dx natin. So hiwalayin ulit natin tong nasa dito. Hiwalayin natin. And then we divide. So square root of x divided by x. So parang x to the one half over x. So magiging x to the negative one half ito. Right? So let me write it as uh, x to the negative one half. Nakukuha ba guys? So buburahin ko na to. Sorry. This one. Okay, so mawawala na rin ito dito. Tapos ito, i-divide ko naman ito. So uh, x to the one, negative one half over x. So parang magsusubtract. So magiging negative ito. Negative three. Right? So ito na lang ang natira. Okay. Okay. So again, so ang ginawa ko dito in this step, I just divided x para mawala yung denominator. Or kung gusto nyo, pwede rin nyo nang magmultiply ng x para magkaroon ng x dito. Pero ganun din naman ang mangyayari. Okay. So ang ginawa ko, yung x, dinivide ko dito. So square root of x divided by x, naging x to the negative 1 half. x to the negative 1 half divided by x, so that would be x to the negative 3 halves. Okay. And the same thing, uh, I-isolate natin yung may mga dy, dx, tapos yung wala, ilipat natin sa kapila. Okay, so can we place this on the next space dito? Okay. Oh, what happened? So let me make this bigger. Okay. So, oh, it's not Wait. Mali yung na-copy ako, sorry. Ito pa lang dapat. Ay, sorry, wala pa pala dito sa kabila. Copy na natin para ito. Kung kulang yung ating... Okay. So, let's copy this whole equation and then place this on the other side. Okay. Okay, next. So, we now place this on the other side of the equation. Okay, so magiging uh, negative ito, so magiging positive. Ito naman, positive ito before, so this becomes negative. So, yeah. Okay, can you follow? Okay, and then next we now uh, factor out again the dy dx. So if I factor out the dy dx here, Hmm. 
Okay, so I'll be placing up there. Okay. Wait lang. There. Okay. So, if we factor out natin si dy over dx, so kung tatanggalin ko to, ibig ko dito, magiging 1 na lang to, di ba? Ito, tatanggalin ko na rin siya. Okay? Yeah. Na-factor out natin si dy dx. Can you follow? Nasundan, ba, nasundan po ba? Sir. Nasundan. Pinactor from this uh, from this step, pinactor out lang natin si dy over dx. Okay? So, when we factor out dy dx, okay? Factoring dy over dx, matitira ito. So, ito lang yun. Kinopya ko lang dito. Ito naman, pinactor out ko si dy over dx, na tatanggalin si dy over dx, magiging 1 over y. Kaya meron tayong 1 over y dito. Hello? Okay, and now finally, we now just have to get dy over dx. So we just divide side by this term. So we place a fraction here. We place this on the numerator. Ilalagay natin naman sa denominator. Okay, and then we're done. So we we'll just simplify. Wala, eh, wala na pala tayong pwedeng i-simplify dito. Kasi this is a uh, two term. Baka ito, i-divide nyo to ito. Ha? Hindi siya pwede kasi meron tayong 1 over y dito. Okay. Question? Wala, sir. Wala na po. Wala na o walang naintindihan? Walang naintindihan. Joe! Tumayos ka, hamis nila. Okay, kung may tanong, huwag mahiya po ha. Okay, isa pa? O, last one. Pa? Ano pang... Naligaw ako eh. Okay, isa pa. One more. Ano pang gusto niyong example? Cube root, sir. Siya, fourth root, sir. Okay. So, wala namang problema doon. So, lagyan daw natin ng cube root. Sige, lagyan natin ng cube root. Uh, cube root of... Uh, fourth root, sir. Uh, Content, sir. Mare, uh, x uh, plus y. Yan. Tapos, minus. So, gusto mong gawing fourth root naman. Fourth root daw. Fourth root of... Say, anong gusto mo? Okay, huwag uh, natin, uh, lagyan pa natin ng exponent sa loob. Mare. X to the 4, and then X, X cube, kunwari. And then minus uh, 6. Sa kabila, ano pa ang gusto mong gawin? Hmm. Equals 2. Okay na ba yan? Apo, sir. Okay. So, how do we get the derivative? So, the same thing, dy over dx ulit. Actually, medyo simple lang ito. Pero, okay. So, paan natin kung yung derivative nito. So, note, again, ito exponential so exponential form lang ito. So, paano natin kunin? Ang derivative niyan, uh, one-third lang yan, di ba? So, mangyayari, sorry, wala si aking... Okay, so ilagay natin si one-third. One-third. Tapos ito, gawin natin siyang exponential. Okay, exponential. So, okay, sa bracket. Okay, x plus y. Okay. Ano mayayari sa exponent natin dito? So, one-third dito dati, di ba? So, minus one magiging, one-third minus one magiging ano? Hindi nga, magtatawag nga tayo. 
One third minus one. Ayan, simpleng tanong. Uh, oh, Daniel, Miss Dimalanta, one third minus one. Saan naman? Grabe naman. Ba't ako? Joke lang. School Lord, one third minus one. Parang balik lang tayo grade three nito. Ha? O one third minus one. Ano, sir? Negative two third. O, yun naman pala eh. O, ganun lang naman. Negative two third. Okay. Next is, hindi pa tayo tapos. So, di ba ito pala yung derivative ng power and then we now multiply with the derivative ng base. So, multiply natin ulit uh, with the derivative of the base. So, we place it in a bracket. Ay, sorry. Lagyan natin sa baba. Okay. Derivative pa nung nito. Diba si derivative of x? Derivative of x ay 1, right? Ay, magsulat. Okay, and then plus. Derivative ng y. Okay. So the derivative of y will just be dy over dx. Right? Can you follow? And then doon naman tayo. Derivative naman itong pangalawa. Okay. Next is derivative naman ng pangalawa. Again, one-fourth yan, di ba? So ang n natin doon would be one-fourth. And then we place it. So again, magiging uh, x cube. Copy natin yung base. x cube minus 6. Okay, and then nakalimutan natin lagyan ng exponent. So lagyan natin sa exponent. Okay. And then uh, 1 fourth minus 1. 1 fourth minus 1. Ikaw naman, Mr. Dagala. Dagala, andyan ka pa ba? Negative 3 fourths, sir. Ayun, very good. Negative 3 fourths. Okay. Tapos na ba tayo? Hindi pa, di ba? So we still have, to, still have to get the derivative nung nasa loob. Anong derivative ng x cube? So magiging, that will be what? Derivative ng x cube? So that would be... 3x squared, sir. Ay, very good. Ayan na si Gumbian. Ayan yung... Okay. So 3x squared. Okay. And then minus derivative of 6. So that would be minus 0. So hindi natin kailangan isulat. And then finally, yung naando naman sa kanan, what's the derivative of the constant? So this becomes 0. Okay. Malinaw? So ang aim na lang natin dito is to isolate yung dy over dx. Okay. So to do that, first is we first expand this. I-distribute muna natin ito dito. So 1 times this. So ito siya, di ba? So 1 times, it, 1 times itself, so this would just be this. And then plus dy times that. So mangyari, uh, magkakaroon mo tayo lang tayo dito ng plus dy, c, control v, and then this. Bali na natin. Okay. Can you follow guys? So, ito, distribute ko lang yung 1 times ito, kaya ito. Tapos, dy times this, kaya ito na siya. dy times that. Okay. Minus the same thing. Higin natin sa baba para. Okay. Minus this equals 0. Okay. Ang next natin dito, dahil ito lang ang may dy over dx, ito lang ititira natin, the rest ililipat natin sa kabila. Okay, so medyo mahaba. Ipitan nga natin ito para magkasya. Sorry ah, para magkasya. Yan. So, ito, ititira lang natin ito dito sa kabilang side, the rest ililipat natin sa kabila. So, okay natin ito. So, ito dahil negative ito, magiging positive siya. Right? natin ng 0. And then ito, ilipat natin sa kabila. Okay, so this becomes negative. So minus that one. Okay. Can you follow? So lakay na natin. Yan. Malino ba? 
So ito nilipat ko sa kabila na naging negative of that value. And then ito negative one fourth something. So ito na lang sa naging positive. Okay. And then finally, to, to solve for dy over dx, we just divide both sides by this. Okay. Can you follow guys? Yes, okay. Okay na lang natin po. Ilagay natin sa fraction. Lang fraction, fraction, fraction. Ilalagay natin to sa numerator lahat. Okay. Tapos ito, ilalagay naman natin sa denominator. Ayun. Natin para maglash. And then that's it. Question? Sir, lalagay mo po sa YouTube yun, sir. Ano po ulit? Lalagay mo ulit sa YouTube channel mo, sir. Uh, opo. Okay po, sir. Okay, so, may tanong po ba? Baka may tanong? We can still simplify this further. Okay lang, maybe this one-thirds na to pwede nating tanggalin. And then itong mga constant, pwede simplify pa yan. And so on. Ito pwede pa natin pag uh, ilagay isama dito. And so on. So on. Ito pwede pa natin itong i-divide. So notice we, we can divide this. Magiging 1 na lang ito. Dito na lang natin pagsamahin. That will also be fine. So algebraic na lang yan. So kayo nang mahal. Okay. May tanong pa ba? More? Kaya pa? Or pahinga na muna? Ah, okay pa ba? Buhay pa, sir. <laughs> okay pa. Oh, sige, sige. So I think uh, medyo madami naman yung example na yun. And then uh, uh, by... Okay, so unless you have question, may tanong pa ba? Wala na po. Okay, wala na. So let me stop the report.